Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, Veronica. Welcome. Um, we also have a uh, Macy, Mario, Hector, who join us this oh. is nine in our English class in our English program. So welcome you all guys. It's a great opportunity. You know to start this day and i just want to know how was your how was your day was everything okay tell me how was your day guys fine fine you had a great time yeah okay that's important so welcome you all to our english classes you know we're about to to you know finish our you know, a model, so this level, and always thinking about, you know, what we have learned, what we have improved, what we have practiced, and this is uh, something very valuable for all of us here in the class today. Um, how's the weather? How's the weather like? Tell me. Yes. Um, how is the, the weather in, now? Yes, the floor blanca. This is a weather now. Is it raining? Yes. It's raining. Yeah, it's, it's raining hard in all around the country, I guess. And also the central uh, area. In Santa, in Santa Ana, it's very hot. It's no rain. Is, is no rain in Santa Ana? No, no rain. What a surprise. It's so it was raining there. Okay. Very, very hot. It's very hot. Yes. Oh my goodness. So sad to well, hear. <laughs> well, right, right, right now is very hot. Okay, I understand that. All right, thanks. Well, uh, let's start today and I just want to share with you a video, uh, a very interesting video. So I want you to um, listen carefully. One second, because I need to share this one. And uh, well, first, let me check about the about this video, and I want you to listen carefully. What is about? Okay, can you see it? Can you see this? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So let's play it, and I want you to listen carefully. Let's go. El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores, competencias gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia, inglés para el trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones, mejora de competitividad de las MIPES, amplios temas de capacitación específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios, cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como 
Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Okay, so we could we could see this uh, very interesting video, you know, about you know different things that we have seen, you know, different interesting programs for many people. Salvadorans who look for better opportunities uh, for for them, and we know that if they work so hard and they try to get everything, if they sacrifice, they strive, they will get what they want. Well, with this motivation, we start, and also we're gonna have uh, different different activities, and let's start today. So we're gonna talk today about the present continuous or present progressive, as we call it in English. And uh, do you remember this topic? Do you remember the present perfect or present continuous? Yes, it does. Yes, you remember. Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's see here uh, the first activity that we will develop. So for example, what events are taking taking place at your work um, at your workplace these days, for example, um, is there anything special that you are, I don't know, maybe celebrating or are happening in your jobs nowadays? I don't know, something that like a meeting or you know, they are celebrating birthdays or it's a date off. What activities, what, ev what events are happening in your workplace? So you have to think about it and try to um, say some of them that you remember. Good evening, teacher. For example, in the university, um, uh, celebrate uh, Teacher's Day. Oh, really? Okay, what other events uh, uh, have you experienced or you check or you leave in your jobs? We can pass a uh, weekend pass a uh, meeting of pastor in the um, in the lake uh, Ilopango. Uh, so so 
122 uh, for three days, three days and uh, meeting and pray and uh, um, take teaching in, in rest. Okay, thank you so much, appreciate it. Someone else? Nobody else? I see you quiet today, no speaking. You should try. It's raining, teacher. I know, much better, more motivational. <laughs> okay, so I think that the son of you are quiet this day. This is worrisome. But we'll try to like continue with our class. And uh, there are some activities that we need to develop. And uh, first of all, we will go on to this one. We have a conversation, so one second. Okay, uh, listen to your teacher, read the conversation and practice with a partner. So we'll have a short time to read this article. Well, this conversation, and I want you to help me to answer through the practice. That's one of the things. First, I want you to listen carefully and then we will practice together. Let's try. Y no se les olvide siempre tener sus cámaras encendidas por petición. It says, um, hello, Mary. Um, okay. I know that some of you are getting some problems because of the because of the rain. Don't worry, it's clear, it's understandable. Bien, iniciamos. Dice, hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I'm doing this week. For example, I am I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Oh, that's okay. I, I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Oh, Peter is. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again and you uh, help me to check this one. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, uh, uh, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Oh, that's okay. Uh, I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. Oh, who, and who is analyzing the advances in the company? Oh, Peter is. Okay, we will be checking this. Um, what we had to do is that we will practice this uh, reading, this conversation with someone and I want you to give the proper pronunciation because sometimes we read like, hello, Mary, what are some activities? So try to give a personal uh, accent. Like if you were, an, if you were an, an English speaker, a native English speaker. So try to practice this uh, conversation, but do it in a natural way. Try to give a different accent. Like, hello, Mary, what are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you, that's okay. Uh, I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. So try to, sounds like natural in the way to pronounce, like not with the Spanish accent, 
try to give, try to give an English accent, okay? Because it's important. After you practice with a partner the following conversation, you will answer the following questions. What are some activities Mary, Mary is doing this week? And also you can check that one. Are, are you doing some of the activities described about which ones send emails, check reports? So you're like gonna analyze and check these questions, okay? And also we had to fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace, for example. And what you had to do is like, ¿Qué es lo que va a completar con su propia información dentro de los grupos? And fill in the blanks with the ev events you have at your workplace. Por ejemplo, ¿Qué eventos tiene usted? Dentro de su lugar de trabajo. Aquí nos da un ejemplo. Nos dice signing payrolls. Maybe sending emails. Si usted puede enviar correos, también ya, ya está uno ahí. Analyzing advan advances. Checking um, products. Otro evento puede ser que le corresponda pues, verificar algunos productos. Monitor people. Visit customers. O visit clients. Eh, filling reports. Todos aquellos eventos que usted tiene dentro de su trabajo. That's what you had to do. So in this moment, what I want you to do is to work in a small break up rooms and you will practice the conversation and you will share your answers with your partner. First, practice the conversation and then socialize the answers. After that, we will take a short time to a complete uh, or reports what you do what activities you do, fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace. ¿Qué eventos tiene? Lo va a compartir con sus compañeros. So let's try now. We have some breakup rooms. Uh, three, uh, four, okay, five groups. Let's go. One second. Yeah, let's go. Let's try now. Así que acepten eh, la invitación que les estoy compartiendo en este momento para que puedan ingresar a los, a los breakup rooms. And you practice the conversation. Let's go. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. No sé si es mi inter, pero les escucho bien cortado, me entiendo. ¿Hola? Me escucho.
Ay, bueno, y para adentro, va por. Dale ya la comida antes que te acostes. Había una pregunta que. Ajá. La pregunta era: ¿qué actividades son las que vamos? ¿Qué actividades son las que vamos a hacer mañana? Ajá. Ah, okay. Okay. Eh, eh, Voy a decir un poquito lo que voy a hacer. Tomorrow I have to check equivalencies eh, of English. In my group. Now listen. Hello. Hola, hola. Se fue la compañera, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, si no, leamos. Y para que dice aquí, ah. escuche a su profesor leer la conversación y practique con sus grupos. Oh, sí. Así que, leamos entonces. Miguel, lee tú primero y después leo yo. Vaya. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Again. Ahora sigue Mar Mary. Léelo todo. Es que tiene que ser de dos personas. Es un diálogo. Okay, well, entonces voy a hacer medio. Uh -huh. pues. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Uh -huh. Well, there are many things I don't this week. For example, I am signing some parlots on Tuesday and sending a mail on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am I am taking to to college and check the report. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Lo volvemos a leer. Ahora que lo haga Jenny y Jocelyn. Vamos, Jenny. Es que se oye como Escucha, que tuvieras... Pero entrecortado. Tuvieras al fondo es que está tormenta. lloviendo bien fuerte y no escucho bien yo tampoco. Ah, eso se oye. Sí. Sí, casi que estoy gritando y por eso escribí ahí en el chat. <risa> ¿Y, ¿Y Jenny? Hello, Jenny. Mm, también dice que no puede. Pero hay una otra persona, ¿verdad? Está Jenny Saraí y está Jocelyn Vázquez. Y de ahí el maestro nos expuso la, pan nos expuso la pantalla. Está compartiendo pantalla. Ah, Ajá. bueno. <risa> bueno, si gusta, no... volvemos a leer el párrafo. Ya lo quitó. <risa> lo quitó. And... And sales. Oh. 
only only activities adriana and you adrian hi uh, well in my case um i don't work but if i did um, um, if I did um, the activities, mm. I will do uh, in great lo logos. How do you say logos in English, teacher? Logos. 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 Logo is logo. Ah, logo. Ah, okay. Great logo. And uh, illustrator image. Do you, do you, Adriana, use a, a program? No, I am graphic designer. I study okay. graphic design. Interesting. And you, Joanna? Uh, uh, I prepare the, the class and then to similar to teacher, I had a, a different conference in the university. I impart the topics of the seminary to, to metho methodology, methodology and uh, administrative analysis and in administrative or uh, a process, different process in, in the in, in, and check different case on uh, other activities to, for prepare the, the, the topics. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the with your class. I know that some of you have some difficulties because of the rain. Definitely that is raining so hard in some, some places here in the country. But we're gonna try to um you know have the class that is a power outage, a blackout because of the rain. But you know, remember that this class has been recorded. So we hope that um, we could uh, finish the class in a in a better way. Okay, let's start today with the content that for you is a backup. And the topic is present continuous. We can call present continuous or present progressive. As you can see here, quiero que veamos acá, un poquito haciendo como un review acerca del present continuous because one of you said that you remember. Uh, let's see here, vamos a ver. Dice, uh, present continuous progressive. La forma verbal del present continuous o progresivo se usa para describir acciones que están ocurriendo ahora, es decir, algo que está pasando en este preciso momento. 
eh, justo en el momento en el que estamos hablando, también para describir acciones que están ocurriendo temporalmente o para describir cosas en futuro. Es decir, que el present continuous nos sirve para tres cosas. Uno, para hablar acerca de algo que estamos haciendo en este preciso momento, in this precise moment. Regla número dos, cuando hablamos acerca de acciones temporales. Por ejemplo, estoy estudiando eh, inglés. Por ejemplo, no sabemos si voy, a, si voy a terminar en cinco meses, si voy a terminar en ocho meses, en nueve meses. Es un periodo de tiempo corto, es decir, algo temporal. Por ejemplo, estoy visitando Nueva York, I'm visiting New York, es algo temporal. Y para acciones en futuro, por ejemplo, I am going to visit the Eiffel Tower. Iré, estaré visitando la Torre Eiffel. Entonces hablamos acerca de un futuro o algo que podía pasar. Y para eso pues vamos a utilizar el, los personal pronouns más el verbo be, más el verbo más ing. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I am writing. Estoy escribiendo una acción que está pasando en este momento. I am paying attention. Estoy poniendo atención. I am listening to the teacher. Estoy escuchando al maestro. I am taking notes. Estoy tomando notas. I am um, watching the information. Acciones que están pasando en este momento. Pero si alguien dice, por ejemplo, Joanna says, you know what? I'm traveling a lot this month, right? Eh, ella está viajando mucho este mes. Es una acción temporal porque no va a estar viajando todo el tiempo, sino que por, por lapso de tiempo. Entonces, uh, seasonal. Y we're visiting our grandparents tomorrow. Nosotros visitaremos a nuestros abuelos mañana. Es decir, we are visiting. Los, eh, nosotros visitaremos a nuestros abuelos mañana. Entonces, a eso le llamamos nosotros present continuous or present progressive. Uh, the present continuous or progressive, the present continuous tense is used to describe activities that are happening right now. Acciones que están pasando ahora mismo. In progress at the time of speaking, activities that are happening around now or to describe a very sure play, plan in the future. Miren qué interesante. Está súper, súper interesante esa estructura. Eh, para que sea un poquito más práctico para nosotros, porque ya lo conocemos, we know the rules, we remember, we're going to practice eh, with some ex exercises together. Tenemos acá, we can see here like a general box about the present continuous. Tenemos el positive, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. Y en contractions, porque el inglés tiene bastante contracciones, es am, your, his, she's. It's, we are, they are, working. They are working. Yeah. Yeah, so we can see here, this actually, uh, this is structures, right? Tenemos también los negative, de la forma normal. I am not, so you can check, I am not. You are not. He is not. She is not. It is not. We are not. And they are not. En la forma negativa, y tenemos el contraction, que para, las, para los americanos es bastante práctico utilizar la forma contractada, pero en conversaciones. En la escritura no, no se ocupa, ya que las contractions son más que todo para conversaciones fluidas. Para escritura, por lo general, siempre se, se trata de escribir de la manera normal. I am, you are. Y la forma de contraction sería, I'm not. You aren't. He isn't. She isn't, it isn't, we aren't, they aren't, working. Luego tenemos para preguntas. Para preguntas, pues sabemos que es, am I, are you, is he, is she, is it, are we, are they working, I, are they studying, are they playing video games, are, are they receiving English class, Are they using the laptops? Y las respuestas que pueden ser de las siguientes maneras. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. Y las formas, eh, en este caso, pues, negativas sería no, I'm not. No, you are not. No, he's not. No, she's not. No, it is not. No, we are not. No, they are not. Y tenemos la forma siempre en contractions. No, I'm not. No, you aren't. No, he's, he isn't. No, she isn't. 
No, it isn't. No, we aren't. No, they aren't. Esta es como la, la manera general de las estructuras, right? So we can check um, the positive, the negative equations, short answers, and also using contractions, right? Veamos algunos ejercicios. Look at this one. It says exercise, present continuous. Use the present continuous form of the verb in brackets to, and use contractions where, where possible. You use my mobile phone. En este caso tenemos que pasar lo que es el, el verbo que está ahí más el verbo to be para formular la oración. Eh, ¿Cómo podría ser la primera? You are... Using my mobile. My mobile phone. My, my mobile phone, right? So we say, you're using my mobile phone. Entonces agregamos el verbo to be, que en este caso es are, porque es you, más el verbo que está en paréntesis y que le agregamos ing. Entonces decimos, you're using my mobile phone. Tú estás usando mi teléfono móvil. Y luego tenemos la número dos, ¿verdad? Que en este caso sería, ¿cómo sería la número dos? My dad. My dad is washing, washing his car. Uh -huh. Washing his car. Washing his car. Y ahí está. Y el signo de interrogación que en este caso en inglés es period. My dad is washing his car. Y, y darle el acento, ¿verdad? Que usted, usted va a decir, ah, ok. My dad is washing the car. Hay que dar el acento. My dad is washing the car. My dad is washing the car. My dad is washing the car. Entonces, vamos como tratando de darle como un acento no al salvadoreño. Por eso les digo yo que lo importante es que luchemos y que podamos darle un estilo diferente a nuestra voz para que nuestra pronunciación sea muy bonita. Para que sea así, eh, estilo más neutral americana. Como les digo, yo le puedo, yo le puedo decir aquí en inglés, ah, you are using my phone mobile. Hey, pero y si cambias el acento, puedes cambiarlo, ok, veamos. Oh, you are using my mobile phone. Entonces ya usted le dio un, un, un estilo diferente. Quiero que completen estos ejercicios con su previous knowledge y luego pues vamos a responderlos juntos en esa parte. Les voy a dar eh, five minutes to complete them and then we'll socialize the answers together here in the chat. Yes? Let's go. Completemos.
Okay, let's um, work together with these ones and the other ones we try to do it by ourselves. We have the number three. It says, eat, not rain. How can I say that? In Spanish, it's like, como que no está lloviendo. ¿Cómo sería? It's not raining today. Okay, it's not, isn't raining. Isn't, isn't raining today. Okay, it isn't raining today. Oh, it is not it's raining not today. Rain today. Isn't it raining, see? Yes. Yeah, yes, like the chat. Yeah, exactly. So it isn't raining or is not raining today. Number four, we have who and also she and Shad. Who she is shading too long. Yes. Who is shading? Okay, who is shading to you now? ¿Quién está hablando contigo o conversando? Porque la palabra chat significa conversar. Entonces la pregunta sería, who's chatting with you now? Who's chatting to you now? So we can see here the, the examples, right? Who's chatting to you now? And para decir quién está hablando contigo, quién está conversando, who is having a conversation? Let's see. What are you doing at the moment? Yes, look at this. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing at the moment, right? Oh, what are you doing at the moment? Muy bien. Y, and also we have number six. We, number six. We are sitting. In the train? On no. the train. On the train. We're sitting on the train. Okay. Like this. We are sitting on the train. Nos estamos sentando en el train. So they are okay. in, in this moment sitting in, in the train. So. Next one. The student is having, is having lunch in the canteen. Okay, so let me check here. The students are having lunch in the canteen. Students are having lunch, right? In ese caso, having lunch, para nosotros sería que están almorzando, right? So they are having lunch. And also we have the next one, that is the, uh, the last one. Are you? Yes, I do. Are you yes, make just, teacher? Hello. Eh, creo que me voy a retirar de la clase. Mi compu está por apagarse y no hay energía eléctrica. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I understand. No worry. Don't forget that the class is being recorded. Okay, so you can follow us. Okay. Watch the video later. Okay. Uh, are you having dinner? Yes, I. What? Do. Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Oh, no. Because yes, we are I using. Am. Yes, I am. Because we're using the verb be. Uh, are you studying? Yes, I am. Are you playing? Yes, I am. Oh no, I am not. Right. So we have uh, these exercises related to the verb be. Teacher. Yes. I, I had a question in the in the four, for example. No, is is it's only to to put uh, the verb to be. Who is? Um, who is a chatting uh, with her? No, no also, refer to, she, to, to her. To, to, yeah, who's no. chatting with her? 
who is sharing with her now? Ah, uh, es que usted puso who is sharing to you now. Let me check. There are different ways that we can answer, not necessarily one. Uh -huh. um, yes, who is sharing to you now? Um, en este caso yo le puse who is sharing to you now. ¿Quién está eh, es, hablando contigo? Pero también podría decir who's, who's sharing with she. Uh -huh. Now, oh, ¿quién okay. está? Ajá, with her. Ah, We're sharing with her okay. too. Entonces ahí okay. por con, contextualizarlo, digamos. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. And vamos con las siguientes. Uh, we have a complete the following sentences using present continuous tense. Tenemos, my son is talking on the phone right now. Okay, we have this one. My son is talking on the phone right now. Are you sleeping? Then we have the number three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I will give you five minutes to answer them, and then we will socialize them together.
Okay, let's um, share the rest of the answers we have here. Okay, so let's try right now. Okay, you will help me with this, please. Number three, um, how this will be, the number three. Can you help me? Jason? Is? Is? Jason is doing, is doing his homework. Yes, Jason is doing his homework. The number four will be Tom. Is or are? Which one? He's working. He's working on a project. Okay. Yes, he's working on a project. Number five. My kids. Are, are, playing. Are, playing. are playing in the garden now? Yes, are playing. playing. Yes, are playing. That's right. Siempre siguiendo la regla. Están jugando. Ellos están, my, my kids are playing. Number six. Uh, some people. Is waiting is to tell waiting. you. Are waiting to. Are. Ya que es plural. Are. 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 Are waiting. Are waiting. Are waiting. Yes, and then you the rest of the statement. So are waiting. The some people are waiting. Number uh, seven. My wife is not cooking today. Today. It's not right. Okay, so it's not cooking today. Today. Thank you. Yeah. So my wife is not cooking today. That's correct. And then we have the number eight. Yes. Is Lucas studying for his exam right now? It's a question, right? Okay, is Lucas studying uh, for his exam? Yes, and also we have this one. And number nine will be Ryan. Is Ryan, is Ryan playing the piano playing? now? equation you can say yes he is or no he's not so we could say is he playing the piano now check and the number let's see 10 lee and i lee and i are fighting Defenses today. Oh, Lee and I are painting defenses today. So you can check here. And painting defenses today. Y ahí vemos como pues eh, usamos la estructura, you know. Uh, Lee and I are painting. Siempre respetando Paint. si es singular is is, si es plural es are, si es negativo en singular isn't, y si es plural aren't. Siempre utilizando lo que es la estructura. That's one of the goals uh, we have for this part. And do you have a question about this? No, teacher, no question. Excellent. No, that's, teacher. that's that's awesome. Remember, I will say that I know that some of you have had some problems with the internet connections, also the electricity connection because of the rain. It's, it's understandable. Eh, no se les olvide completar los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Que nos quedan ya eh, de la parte 5 y el final test para que ustedes vayan avanzando. Recuerden que la plataforma está 24-7. Usted puede avanzar lo más que usted pueda y, y completarlos antes del día jueves. Así que eh, siempre ahí tenga el espacio para poder realizarlos y poder practicar bastante. Así que thank you so much, guys, for being here with us in the class. Have a beautiful evening to all of you. Enjoy your night today. Thank you so much to everybody. God bless you all. I see you more Bye, teacher. God yeah, bless you. Thank bye. you, teacher. Why, it's a pleasure. Have a great time. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. See you Happy tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye see now. You tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.